Namaste Aries, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant Rising. Welcome to your January 2019, made it, um, reading, free reading with me. So there are extended versions available. There's going to be a separate post about that. Um, remember, you can listen for your Sun, Moon, and Ascendant Rising. Also, there's a number of New Year's readings I'm doing if you want to get a full year reading or a New Year's reading. Um, there's some more options there for you to check out. I'm going to use a few decks today. I am going to look um, at the past year and the full 2019 year a little bit, but I also want to do um, a reading for January because, you know, I just I don't want to skip the month of January by doing too much about 2019 as a whole because um, it is a full month out of the year whereas we only have 12 um, how did tape get on my tape is on my deck okay like sealing it shut I guess it's just all of the present wrapping and whatnot um, so the feedback that I got in the tribe group involved using the wisdom of the trees oracle um, so I do have that deck present for this reading, as well as the Secret Language of Color Cards deck, the Zodiac Oracle, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle, and the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. So um, I've got a couple more decks to shuffle here. If you want to use the time to just tune into your center and your intuition and ask spirit any questions you have um, and kind of just relax and prepare yourself to receive the reading and the messages that your spirit guides have in store for you in full, please do that. One more deck here. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, a crystal card for 2008. For you and one for 2019 for you and then we're gonna look at um, some theme cards for 2019 and then jump more into the month of January itself all right so I do like to use the book with these cards amethyst was your card from uh, 2018 and for 2019, I can't even pronounce this one. Um, more earthy stone though. Shiva, I don't know. Shiva Lingam is what it looks like. Unfortunately, this book doesn't come with uh, the pronunciations <laughs> of the crystals, how to pronounce it. So, um, just, I mean, I, I can spell it for you and you can google it if you want to know how to pronounce it so here we have um 2018 represented with amethyst and um amethyst is about inner peace in large um the healing insight in the book says letting go of cravings leads to inner freedom and creates well-being so there may have been lessons um, related to that that occurred for you in 2018 um, or a reminder of that it's a powerful protector amethyst is purify purifier and natural tranquilizer amethyst calms the mind and balances extremes and it speaks about addictions, 
um, and concentrating effort to overcome such behaviors or obsessions, any any kinds, also overindulgences, um, amethyst for self-understanding. It says balance work and play, you are prone to excess in both. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions brings peace. Hand your will over to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish. Uh, so being a Mars ruled sign, um, like the sign of Scorpio, I think a lot of you are very active people, so sometimes you overexert yourself in work and in play, is what uh, the book is saying here. And I mean, in a sense, that was in harmony with Scorpio, but um, I think there may have been lessons related to that, preparing you for what's to come. Okay. The divination with this card says, release self-defeating programs. Do not rely on others. You create anything you set your mind to. Be shrewd in business dealings. Pay attention to your family. An honest verdict and success is, um, an honest verdict and success in court cases are possible. Maintain your integrity and let the universe decide. So really a lot going on. It is a whole year's time. But let's see what you have for 2019. Okay. Alchemical Union. This is both an earthy energy and a high vibrational energy. Okay, healing insight. True relationship transcends earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. So um, this is talking about mind over matter, sort of. It's talking about um, energetic vibrations um, creating physical reality and earthly experiences self-understanding be compassionate with yourself to heal you have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being integrate these to release your creative power um, the stone is produced from the tumbling waters life shapes you in the same way so go with the flow soul scouring reveals your divine core if you were hurt or abused be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels divination get back to basics and put passion back into your life honor your libido and creative fire create balance i have to stop right here because um Ooh, it's going to be nice to stop saying this because I've been saying this so much, but it's true. We were moving from a year where Scorpio um, was hosting Jupiter. Jupiter was in Scorpio for uh, most of 2018, or is it all of 2018 and a little bit of 2017? I don't remember. Um, anyway, it was largely, you know, and then we had two, we had a Mercury retrograde and we had a Venus retrograde both happening in the sign of Scorpio. So there was a lot of scorpionic energy, which is water energy. Okay. Um, but next on the wheel is a fire sign. The fire sign follows the water sign. Um, and you know, that's your element, Aries. You're also a fire sign. So, um, the universe is supporting you and life is supporting you in 2019 um, to really share and put out that fiery energy, um, passion, uh, creative fire, libido, all of these things are connected with the element of fire. And it is also Sagittarius, that higher spiritual perspective, um, spiritual journey being the sign after Scorpio it is a time of uh, healing and you know soul retrieval and um, soul revival and so um, I think that's really revealed in that first part of self-understanding also with this card um, and then there's a couple tips from spirit or your spirit guides in there as well about being compassionate with yourself in order to allow yourself to heal 
Okay, so now we have <laughs> um, uh, you, you may need to cut ties where appropriate. Remember you create through the power of thought. Everything passes and in a turbulent time unexpected benefits emerge. All right, so the chakras that this corresponds to are the base sacral and highest crown chakra. Um, it says it also activates the rise of kundalini energy and is, um, what was this part? Embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth. It symbolizes uh, uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force. So cool. This is so much like that triangle energy, that Sagittarius energy. Um, I was thinking about it too. In numerology, 2018 was a two universal year and also an 11 universal year. Um, and 2019 is a three universal year. And three um, really is associated with fire, is associated with that triangle symbol. Uh, and it's associated with action, activity, play, manifestation, or coming together, unifying forces. It's, it's that fiery energy that's being talked about here already in this first card for 2019. Um, interestingly enough, amethyst is associated with the third eye chakra. So last year, um, the crystal that came up for you was associated with the third eye chakra and also the crown chakra. And now we have the lower chakras being covered, the sacral, the, um, the I'm not sure if it said root or not, uh, but some of the lower chakras anyway, the sacral chakra, the, um, yeah, the, the root chakra, and then also the crown chakra still and again. So it is spiritual. Yeah, it's, I think the spirituality and the, um, unconscious, super conscious sensitivity, like the, the connection with the spiritual world is going to be more grounded, more rooted this year. What else do we have for you in the cards? <clears throat> I'm wanting to do um, one tree card for 2019 for you. And that tree card is the elm tree. This looks like a happy, <laughs> I don't mean to sound like Bob Ross, but this sounds like a happy tree. Um, it looks like a happy tree. It's uh, sunny, you know, in the picture fluffy leaves, happy, light-hearted tree. Let's see what the book suggests. Elm. Okay, the first thing I'm going to see here when I find elm is the keyword. There we go, which is communication. Okay. 61. It says, be clear when talking to other people so they are able to understand exactly what you mean. Dropping hints or expecting others to read between the lines of what you are saying will only lead to confusion and resentment. <coughs> Sorry, I'm clearing my throat. Let me get some of my coffee brew here. All right. Um, yeah. Awesome. So the thing is, is this, I don't think this year is going to support some of the fuzzy, um, confusion, uncertainty, complications associated with that and struggle associated with, um, that. And I think 2018 did in a way. Um, being, like I mentioned, that Scorpio energy. Scorpio um, is a sign that is associated or governed by um, or governs um, secrets and um, the unseen. Also, Neptune was retrograding in 2018 and has now come direct. Um, so, Neptune is the planet associated with illusions and delusions and confusion and um, imagination and fantasy. So that's now going direct. So there is a level of needing not only honesty but clear communication in articulating and 
kind of bringing um, forth and out to the surface into the light the spirit guides are definitely emphasizing that using that term you know from the darkness the gestation and birth associated with Scorpio into the light of Sagittarius um, so that's what came up with the tree card elm okay so now um, I'm gonna do some theme cards I'm gonna do some color cards goddess cards and uh, zodiac cards to look at the theme for 2019 for you and we're also going to do 2018 so let's actually do 2018 first so 2018 this is going to be the theme and or um, what spirit wants to bring up um, as sort of a retrospective um, update for you of information about 2018 what was 2018 all about like what messages does spirit have for you about 2018 now that it's finished and moving into 2019 or into 19 2018 now um, my hot fairness the situation will be handled in a just and fair manner yeah that's the thing I think in Scorpio that's veiled to an extent or was it was veiled for you and you there were doubts about that you know, um, let's see what else, 2018, Zodiac cards, Aquarius and the Sun, okay, um, so there's an element here, or was with 2018, about kind of ex expressing, allowing, your um, weirdness, your quirkiness, the things that make you unique and um, separate from the crowd to come out and be seen um, and expressed. This also um, maybe it's talking also about your personality, the sun, and um, your energy and um, expression, what you express. It's talking about um, humanitarianism over here with Aquarius, and it's talking about the internet um, and technology. So let me draw a color card to add to the mix here. Let's see what that gives us for insight. A couple color cards actually gray learn to scan your body and aqua experience peace and calm okay <clears throat> i do feel like there might have been a lot of sort of um it could be emf waves or really it, it, unbalanced energies energies that are more positive ions you know electricity um, computers and, and TVs and things give off these energies and that's associated with Aquarius too Aquarius is so associated with electricity I feel like it may have been during 2018 it may have been really hard on your soul Sun soul um, or your your life energy your vitality um, it may have really you may have sort of been in battle with it and um, trying to harmonize and have authenticity and and health um, so we have aqua experience peace and calm there would have been a challenge there and that would have been um, the necessary thing to do the best that you could have done to uh, balance this out balance it out um, balance out the harmful um, waves and gray learn to scan your body um, also you know 
one more thing you could do is move into that um, mindfulness, meditative, and um, self healer, and it's the 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 observing yourself that's coming up here um spirit is guiding me to say you know self-observation was a big thing last year and also you know starting to um work with your own internal energies through observing what's there within learn to scan your body um this could also be referring to energy work energy work and they are giving me the message that like there was interference last year with your energy work um if you do you know reiki meditation visualization we all do energy work even if we're doing it on autopilot all right but especially for those of you who do it consciously you may have noticed that your energy felt more depleted um or you had to you got to learn um new techniques or you, you were um urged by life to defend yourself through more mindfulness more um like it was almost like needing more self-discipline with your spiritual practices with your um energetic practices <coughs> sorry guys I'm trying to um avoid getting sick I am once again living in a home where people consume animal products and I really feel like the toxicity is when I breathe it in. I try not to breathe it in. Um, as some of you may know, I've been vegan for nine years. It, it's going to be, I'm going to have my vegan anniversary uh, in 2019. It will be nine years. So um, my body has changed some and, and it's... <laughs> it's a little bit challenging so um anyway sorry about that um but i do have a little bit of phlegm going on <laughs> i wouldn't say i've caught a cold yet hopefully i don't but um warning signs there all right so now we want to look at 2019 the new year and um and then january so we have uh two color cards we want to do uh, zodiac cards and then one goddess card silver cool and chocolate yummy yummy energies mm. oops Hmm. That also seems pretty cool so far. I don't want to make it out to seem like the year isn't going to have a shadow like every year, like everything, you know, every year, you know, everything, but, um, and mislead people because I do think, you know, we're probably going to have some challenges and stuff. <laughs> It's not going to be like we enter the Wizard of Oz and, you know, we just get to go play with the munchkins for the whole year in lollipop land or whatever it is. Oops, I almost drew two. Well, maybe that was supposed to happen. Okay. Wait, interesting here. Um, the first thing we have with the color cards is we're doing a tree card also, aren't we? Let's get that out. giant red word cool all right so the first thing we have with the color cards is silver which is be persistent and chocolate nourish your body and soul sagittarius is a very um independent sign it's a very spiritual sign it's a very spiritually independent sign um it's kind of the seeker and so there is um you know, that is through nourishing yourself, you're taking care of yourself um, to an extent, you know, that is a very spiritual thing. So we have nourish your body and soul, chocolate, um, soul food. You're apt to be more drawn and able to embrace and experience things that are truly nourishing for yourself this year. But there is 
um, also the card silver coming up which says it's it is something that you're gonna have to put effort some effort into you know or take some action respond to the universe if the universe isn't gonna sh like push this on you um, it's not gonna like fix you know cook you a meal fix up your plate bring it to you and say this is your dinner now here's your fork eat it <laughs> this is how you eat it here do you need me to do the airplane and get it in your mouth for you no um, there is a certain amount of that Sagittarian energy and wanting to and that fire energy too and wanting to do it and especially for you because you're Aries um, being that uh, initial spark right um, the Aries is of activity and action um, there's going to be a certain amount of your higher self saying okay um, you're going to do it and then you're going to enjoy it like nobody's going to be doing it for you there's certain things you're going to do for yourself and then you're going to know you know that there's that foundational energy that comes with that so um, then we have Sagittarius and Pluto from the Zodiac and this is interesting as Pluto is the sign um, that co-rules Scorpio along with your ruling planet Mars and then Sagittarius like I mentioned um, is the energy um, where Jupiter is residing for 2019 so stepping back away from that part of it um, the cards are showing me this is about your your power and your free will here you're gonna have choices um, related to and probably lessons and experiences um, it's kind of a th yeah a theme spirit guides are saying theme here um, related to whether you are expressing your power, your true power, um, in a healthy way, or whether um, you're abusing power in order to um, achieve in pursuit of what you want, in pursuit of your goals, in pursuit of your um, spiritual quest and journey on this planet earth right and the things that you want to do the adventures you want to have there is that question here with Pluto Pluto is just power and abusive power you know lack of power it has that duality here so as much as Pluto is about power it's also about um, sort of lack of power um, and misuse and abuse and misunderstanding power. You know, it is right Neptune, next to Neptune, the planet of illusions um, and imagination. So there's an element here of you are in control. You are, um, are you believing, Sagittarius belief, are you believing and faith in your own power? And is that being demonstrated and shown? Um, or are you putting off vibrational frequencies that say, you know, low self-confidence, fear, and so forth? Um, Sagittarius is about adventures, you know, so it could be an adventurous year for you. Um, it can be about travel, Sagittarius. Um, expansion, you know, um, good luck fun we do have we do have white terra sensitivity here and then the second card that wanted to come up I wasn't gonna pull a second card but I did for some reason um, is Bridget don't back down stand up for what you believe is right so there is um, that being shown with all these other cards as well where you you may have to be persistent you may have to like I said you know feed yourself the universe is working with you this year um, but at the same time it's like I said it's not gonna do the here comes the airplane with your spoonful of food for you um, so 
with the sensitivity card, it says you are becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. This year, and this is Sagittarian energy too, you know, Jupiter is so important. I'm just starting to realize that. I think it's really important in astrology. Um, so anyway, this energy, this Sagittarius energy, this Jupiterian energy, it is an energy of coming home when they're together, you know, because Jupiter is at home in the sign of Sagittarius. That's its home sign. So there, there's like this lifting and falling away of anything that's inauthentic, inauthentic um, no longer of use to you, isn't serving your higher spiritual uh, nature. And so when it says this white terror sensitivity card, you are becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. That's Sagittarius all over the place. It's Sagittarius is like, if it's not fun, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. Like, why would I waste my time on Earth? No, I don't think so. So that's why I feel this is coming up as the theme is because it's definitely a part of the year that releasing I'm not really seeing it as sickness it could come off that way for some of you there could be like a, a detoxing so like a cold and a purging of toxins that way that's really unpleasant um, but I'm not seeing it that way for most of you I'm seeing it more as there's gonna be opportunities and times to assert yourself demonstrate your internal spiritual power right um, and and make the rules you know stand up for yourself make make your own rules start dropping away um, you know some of the demons and shadows and things that come along with that Scorpio energy and move into this lighter freer more hey wait a minute no I'm an earthling that came here to experience life and um, joy and abundance on this planet and like if I'm off my path, I'm getting the frick back on it now, <laughs> you know? Um, so, again, there's going to be, you know, the things that you're doing on your part for your own well-being and for your progress and your spiritual um, journey that involves self-care, um, nourishment, standing up for yourself, persistence, really beautiful colors, beautiful forward movement here. And then we have giant redwood that came up okay um giant redwood um, i think these are mostly out in california or something majesty or majesty Ma yeah ma <laughs> majesty um i don't know what i was thinking that word was uh, is associated with the giant redwood so page 33 let's see what it says i thought it was going to say majestic so it's very small print Okay, 73. It says, do not underestimate yourself, either in terms of your natural abilities or your unique personality. You have so much to offer the world that there is no need to feel inadequate or to lack self-confidence. Let me show you the way. Let me show you the way. That's the friggin' theme. So I hope you all have been, like, either waiting for this or hoping for this or looking forward to this I th I think you probably have I think a lot of us have it's been a long time since Jupiter's been at home and this is very helpful <laughs> energy in the sense of you know liberating energy liberating energy I'm gonna have to read that one more time do not underestimate yourself, either in terms of your natural abilities or your unique personality. You have so much to offer the world that there is no need to feel inadequate or to lack self-confidence. Let me show you the way. Yeah, the seer wants you to become comfortable in expressing yourself and sharing what you have to offer. And especially as, you know, in, because it's about expansion. It's about expansion, and when you do that, you're putting out um, pieces of spiritual wisdom, knowledge, your own experience that others 
can then learn and that expands it okay so that's like anyway that's like the 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 sunflower seeds for the birds you know it's very um you know it's like food to this year this year definitely um i think is going to encourage that in a balanced way I think now take a look at January soon but I think that's what these are saying it's gonna do it in a balanced way where you're feeling internally pretty good about it and externally like they're working in harmony the internal and the external it's not about uh, abuse I'm hurt I need to integrate this or um, look at the ugliness now try to it, try to see the beauty in it so we can move forward it's not like that kind of shadow working through the underworld energies of Scorpio it's more of the like Phoenix rising type energy it's like the okay and now the debris fall off and we're left with you know the stuff that's lighter and feels good all right uplifting uplifting energy that's the word they bring to me uplifting so I'm gonna do a lot more with January and extended um, if you're interested in that I'm gonna do a brief thing for January because we've done so much with the um, new year and the, the last year here um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a color card for each week and let's do that now one two three four actually what I'm doing is four of them so they're approximate weeks um, got wow upper um, chakra colors here we've got blues and purples and I also want to do um, one for the month of January itself that is a lovely tangerine color that is not um, blue and purple at all that is be spontaneous and have fun tangerine for January that's your color card be spontaneous and have fun nice okay um i'm gonna look at if i can get my zodiac cards back in here well, i'm also going to put down a couple zodiac cards and a goddess card Okay, so I'm going to point out that when New Year's occurs, like when um, the ball drops, this is a time right around when Mars, I believe it is, is moving into Aries. Mars is moving into Aries. Or is it, yeah, Mars moving into Aries. It's a fiery planet moving into the first fire sign of the zodiac. And it's very synchronistic to. A new year and I just think this is so beautiful to start out this like spiritually liberating um, freedom you know freedom seeking explorative expansive uh, benevolent energy of Jupiter and Sagittarius um, and a three universal year with Mars and Aries lining up like that. It's like Mars goes home too. All right. That um that just came to my mind because we have fire in the first week of January for you. This is activity, action, behaviors. Um and you may be, you know, like a lot of people kind of evaluating that um, evaluating the past year and your resolutions and all of that and then dealing with the first week of the new year um, so behaviors and behavior modification could be occurring here uh, we have the sapphire card coming along beside it which is generate regenerate your body it is a regeneration it is a rebirth um, not just a rebirth but it's like Oh, I guess we're just going to keep it simple and call it a rebirth. Um, you know, it's a regeneration 
um, for your, for your body, hopefully. Um, with Sapphire here, um, it's talking about balancing this, balancing that activity, um, being active, being busy, um, or, you know, this fire energy, walking into this fiery year, um, you know, three universal year, Jupiter and Sag year, um, being kicked off by Mars going home to Aries, like a lot of fire, a lot of um, forward movement action activity. Um, and you could, like I said, be looking at your behaviors and shifting your behaviors. It's asking you to balance that fiery energy with this um, energy of deeper consciousness, super consciousness, um, health. Uh, it's sort of a watery energy, right? Being dark blue like that with the beautiful sapphire. And Coventina purification. It is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. So there is a little bit of releasing going on in the first um, month of the year, January here. A little bit of releasing. Could be, you know, behavior modification where you're starting a new phase, where you're getting healthier. Um, you could be detoxifying your penile gland um, with this color coming up as well. Looks really nice. And then the second week we have lavender, connect to body, mind, and soul, and Sagittarius. So you could be doing some sort of, um, going on some sort of journey, going on some sort of trip. That's possible. Um, what's even more possible is going on some sort of spiritual journey connecting in body, mind, soul, um, doing some sort of self-exploration or philosophy. Um, you could be connecting with others maybe around philosophy, um, religion, spiritual principles, theories, ideas, um, life experiences, sharing stories. Um, or again, there might be some adventures afoot, and this lavender card is coming up to say, like, please balance this fiery energy, this very active fiery energy, with a nice earthy, um, grounded energy, calm, peace, serenity, sensuality, um, you know, and a nurturance of body, mind, and soul, caring for your body. It's kind of a water thing too, your emotions, that purple has the energy of earth and water in there, lavender. All right, and then the goddess card, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. I think this second week of January, there is the intent, the spiritual intent um, for you to <clears throat> become more empowered, get, get empowered, start feeling empowered. Look at how, how lovely this is. Her dress matches the lavender. <clears throat> um, spiritually, you know, and really allow things to take off, allow yourself success, allow yourself, this might be a good time to launch things, I'm not sure whether you're launching things or you're waiting to launch things, um, I, I do feel and sense it's more that you are, um, able to launch things at this time with success. It's a good time for launching. Um, if you have a new idea or a project or event or um, whatever, you want to start something new, like a new job even. Um, but especially if it's something that you created, it's a great time to launch it. Um, Connecting into body, mind, and soul, you're going to be able to find your inner strength if you have faith and believe in the, that, that you can, um, and move forward in some way in, in your spiritual journey, in your spiritual quest. This could involve um, higher learning through meditation, um, visualization, and that kind of thing. This could um, be around manifesting something, putting something into works that you want to create, whether it's getting a promotion or whether it's writing a book or whatever it is. Um, it could be about travel or booking travel as well. And the third week 
you have up turquoise pluto it says awaken your empathy with turquoise so whatever is going on here it might be it might be that you're perceiving yourself to be in a position um, where you don't have enough power right feeling self-doubt uh, low self-confidence feeling like others are taking your power for you from you or um, what have you you're feeling like you don't have enough power and <clears throat> let me draw a couple more cards here first um, but the truth of it is is that actually you know it, it's not you it's somebody else that actually needs your compassion your empathy needs you to sort of step into their shoes um, mentally and look at things from their point of view and have um, that empathy and higher understanding turquoise has to do with um, being the combination of spirit sky and um, earthy grounded sensuousness um, sensuality the earthy grounded practical energy and that spiritual truth of the sky here are represented in turquoise having that green blue color shade um, so there is an element here of like getting the deeper spiritual truth on the matter having a deeper spiritual understanding on something and it's actually that you are plenty powerful enough empowered you don't need to be mean to anybody else you don't need to um be aggressive you can be assertive without being aggressive because you don't need to do that you don't need to to put anybody down or make anybody feel you don't need to contribute to that negative energy um, and expand that in fact um, it would be nice to expand the confidence instead right and the true inner power and light here from within um, so you might be working with somebody um, in that way and trying to help somebody out the arts express yourself through creative activities <clears throat> Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Week three, the goddesses are suggesting you express yourself through creative activities. This is a great outlet for that Martian energy. Um, I know this is Pluto, not Mars, but sometimes um, Pluto, I think, that, that low self-confidence, aggression, etc. comes from sort of suppressing and misusing that Martian energy, that like fiery energy. Um, then you get like an ab abusive power, right? And that kind of thing. Um, the arts can uplift you, make you feel better, help you connect earth and sky energy. So that's lovely. We have um, Virgo coming up, reversed to me as I read. So it's Virgo reversed, blue, activate your healing power. You may be dealing with a health issue in the fourth week of um, January. Not necessarily, but that is one thing that could be coming up here with Virgo reversed. Um, it could be that there's an issue to be corrected regarding your schedule, your daily routines. Um, it also is the house associated with pets. Um, so your pets might need a little extra care um, or love, affection in the fourth week. That's possible. Um, and if it is something with your pets that you, you might need to do something to help heal them, right? Because there is activate your healing power. And we also do have Vesta coming up suggesting home. <clears throat> um, but Virgo also deals with details, um, small things in general, and it's coming up showing a blockage there. So there could be a blockage needing to be um, dealt with in this fourth week of January, and it's 
um, could be related to your home. It could be related to, you know, it could be as simple as like, it's time to clean. That's not always a simple thing. Um, you know, it's time to clean and create a healthy healing home environment for yourself because you have some healing work to do and you need that earthy grounded base to start from and work with. You need, um, you know, things cleaned and refreshed and pure, um, to go to move forward with. Um, but again, this could also be health, could be details like paperwork, um, many things. Festus card says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Again, sometimes the occupants Vesta is referring to are just dust bunnies, but not always. And sometimes that I think has to do with neighbors as well. Um, but a number of possibilities there in the fourth week. Okay, so wrapping up the reading, I just want to point out and, and mention, remember that tangerine card that came up for January, the core message from spirit for January was be spontaneous and have fun. So don't be too hard on yourself. It does look like there's work for you, a little bit of work for you to do or tasks for you to do challenges or whatever, but that's not necessarily a negative thing that you need to let bog you down. Um, you make it, you can make it fun. You don't have to be, um, rigid in your schedule and your time per se there's definitely room to be spontaneous um, it's not until the fourth week of january where spirit starts saying hmm, okay but we do have this blockage going on with the sixth house or virgo house of daily habits daily routines details um you know and and keeping things in order and organized so I hope you have a wonderful first month of the year. Happy 2019. Um, I'll be back doing the free reading again on in February, hopefully, or for February, hopefully. But if you would like an extended version of this reading for your sign, or um, you would like to get uh, a different reading from me, um, or may, please let me know. Be well.